Howdy. I'm Greg Pilbert. As you know, because it's mainly what I do videos on, I like guns. I like them a lot. Uh, I like shooting them, uh, but I like really like learning about them, taking them apart, figuring out how the mechanism works, figuring out the history, all that good stuff. So that's one reason that I really enjoy the historical uh, YouTube channels on guns. But the one problem is, is with guns, you can look on the web and find out information, but you're not going to find out the in-depth information. You need a book for that, which Matthias is always uh, mentioning on his show. And he's, he's the best for the in-depth history on a particular firearm. Uh, you know, uh, Ann McCollum is pretty good. So is uh, what Mike at Bloke on the Range and the chap, I forget his real name. Uh, and there's a few others like that out there. Uh, Carl over at In Range TV, he, he goes into in-depth occasionally and his historical stuff is, is pretty darn good. Uh, might I also recommend 11 Bang Bang. Uh, Garrett Woods and Ethan Woods over there are just uh, a wealth of information. Garrett on Colts, Ethan on, on Smith & Wesson, and modern stuff. And they're just good, good people too. They're just good folks. Anyway, but as you can see, this is where you find most of your information in books. And some of these books, well, they're, they're out of print or very, very expensive. I don't know why, but every time you get a gun book, it's very expensive. Partially because most of the really good ones are printed in vanity presses or small presses because no one is interested in, in doing a huge run. You know, you're too busy doing uh, uh, you know, the, the tell-alls of starlets uh, in, in book form or, or the latest uh, fantasy novel. You're not interested in factual information about a subject that is not politically correct. Well, let me give you an example of it in terms of that. This book here, see that? This is uh, Mott's and Shuey's book on the Austrian service pistols. And it is the definitive work on the subject. Two problems. One, it's, a, it's in German. <laughs> There is nothing in English on this subject. But uh, you may have noticed that I happen to have a Rothsteyer and a Steyr Hahn, but I don't have this one. I want this one so bad. I've held one. A friend of mine had one, but he passed and it's it's long gone. Oh well, anyway, this the other problem is this is $125. It's very expensive. <laughs> Most of my books are a little bit over $100 or approaching $100. Uh, and, but this is probably the most expensive one I spent money on. Well, that's one reason that I look around for cheaper books, like I go and find used stuff, and used stuff is usually cheaper, usually. Sometimes it becomes rare and collectible, and then it's no longer so, so uh, uh, easy to find or cheap. For instance, uh, let's see, here's a little volume. This is on, on automatic French Rifles, Proud Promise. You cannot get this no matter what. It's a collector's grade book, uh, but it's, uh, I mean, that's the company, collector's grade productions. And Proud Promise is just, it's about all these variants of various uh, rifles that the French developed. Uh, and before Ian McCollum's book came out, this was the only thing you could find on French Rifles, if you could find it. I, I have found one copy of this. And it costs near $100. And it's a little thin book, but it's in English. And, oh gosh, it's just well, like this one, also expensive. This is on uh, revolvers, mainly pin fires, French. But this is in French. <laughs> it's the only, and it's the only book I can find on this subject. So that's what I bought. Uh, I don't speak French. My ex-wife speaks German, so... Uh, I occasionally uh, consult her on stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, one thing I did run into recently, and it's something, now I would recommend any of these books except one, and it's the most recent one I purchased. And this is it. This only cost 15 bucks. I found out why. It's exactly 25 pages long, and all the th pictures in it are thumbnails. 
thumbnails. Why thumbnails? Because what this is, is a synoptic re reprint of Wikipedia articles with a link on the end of it to the web page they got the information at. And that's all it is. <sighs> um, there are some shysters out there running uh, uh, publishing companies. This is some kind of small publisher. I don't know who. Uh, I, I, I ordered it from Germany. It was shipped within two or three days and it's set in customs for a week. <laughs> Just, you know, they wanted to make sure that I wasn't smuggling, uh, I don't know, maybe porn in or something. I don't know. But it's obviously a book. Uh, anyway, now who is it published by? It doesn't say. Anyway, uh, watch out for scam books. But do pay attention to the real thing. <laughs> and that's the real thing. This is one of the better firearms libraries in the world, I'm thinking. And uh, some of the people I've uh, chatted with on the, on the web seem to agree with me. Uh, there's one guy who has a channel, uh, goes by Firearms Addict. Excellent channel. Uh, he's always just saying, well, you're just ruining my, uh, uh, my bank account when you, you show me all these books I've got to get hold of. And I said, well, what about you? Because <laughs> he does the same thing to me. <laughs> and anyway, some of them are, are just... Well, kind of rare, rare. like uh, Garrett had a copy of this, but uh, uh, this is called Arms Mirror. The home, the arms, the, oh gosh, I can't, that's the problem with 19th century books. They, they always have long titles. Uh, the homes, the arms, and the mem armory of Samuel Colt. And this was written by his widow. Uh, he died in 1862, I think. Well, and this was published in India. And it was a really nice bound copy, and I thought it was a really cool copy. His was, uh, unfortunately, had been edited by a um, shyster that we didn't know was a shyster for many years. Uh, his name was R.L. Wal Wilson. R.L. Wilson. Wilson. This, this, and this are all R.L. Wilson books. Yeah, even I get taken in occasionally. <laughs> but uh, and others, like Smith & Smith, it's, it's something that you, um, this rifle of the world, I've also got um, one, two, three editions of Small Arms of the World by them. And uh, I think they both passed away, but they're both excellent writers. And you really should get a copy of Small Arms of the World, if you're into this at all. Uh, others, like History of the Cult Revolver, that's a superb book. That's a, that's a first edition, by the way. Uh, this is the fourth edition of the work on Mausers. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, Fireplace Guy from uh, Forgotten Weapons. Uh, well, his real name is Leonardo M. Antares, and this is by him, and it's on the Astra Pistol. Uh, I mean, I have some books that are just kind of difficult to, to run, run, come across. Uh, Pistols of the Warlords and uh, uh, Chespo to Famas. These are in my, uh, uh, my columns, uh, two reference books. Uh, you know, he has, uh, like recently when I bought this Pistols of Warlords, I also got the uh, Arming, Arming the Dragon, the reprint of uh, Dolph Goldsmith's uh, original book on the subject. Well, I happen to have a first edition of it over here as well. This one's full of typos and a few uh, errors. This one, are they corrected on? Uh, other, there's other books that you can run into, like Oh, if you look way up there, you'll see, uh, uh, gosh, ooh, this one, which is um, oh, just recently printed, Gun Research Declassified, Visit to the Mauser Works. When Mauser Works was uh, taken by the, um, or the Americans, uh, they also were uh, moving into Bavaria, the Bavarian Alps, and they came across a train that was loaded full of Mauser stuff and uh, personnel and they grabbed it and it was just stuck with stuff and this is the u.s army report on it which was all classified super hush hush but it's been revealed now this is really really obscure stuff and if you you have to really be into history to want something like this but i'm into history heck i majored in it no things like uh, weapons uh mounts for uh Stationary armaments, again, that's a, that's a really obscure work. 
You know, a lot of my stuff is kind of obscure. And that's why people email me all the time or write me or, or message me and say, uh, hey, do you know anything about fill in the blank? And I try to know, if I know something about fill in the blank, I, I try to mention it. Anyway, that's just, I just wanted to say, don't get scammed. Happy trails.